to W, B, and R News. Today we're going to be interviewing three important leaders of the past. The three leaders are Westmoreland Davis, Thomas Jefferson, and Clara Barton. We're just going to be interviewing Westmoreland Davis. Today I'm at Morgan Park, as you can see, and I'm here to interview Westmoreland Davis about leadership. Westmoreland Davis was a plantation owner that changed the way people farmed in Northern Virginia and was the 48th governor of Virginia, serving from 1918 to 1922. All right, I'm here today with Westmoreland Davis and I came to here to ask him what character traits should a leader have. I think uh, some traits that a leader should have is courage and able to speak to others. Um, that trait uh, could lead to like if someone has problems, then uh, you could find a solution for them to make um, their job a lot more easy. All right, thanks, Westmoreland Davis. Goodbye. Thank you. Clara Barton was an important nurse during the Battle of Antietam during the Civil War. She was referred to as the Angel of Antietam. She also founded the American Red Cross. Claire Barton, Claire Barton, you've time to talk about leadership? Sure. A leader should be brave, courageous, and confident. If the people see that you're scared, they'll become scared too and not want to continue to follow you anymore. Okay, well, thank you, Claire Barton. Good luck with that dead person. Thomas Jefferson was an influential leader on the signing of the Declaration of Independence and wrote the first draft of it. He was also the third president of the United States and a slaveholder. Thomas Jefferson lived on the plantation Monticello and experimented with many different kinds of plants. Today I'm at Monticello and I'm here to interview Mr. Jefferson. Hello, Mr. Jefferson. Hello. <laughs> about what, what do you think a good leader, like what kind of change a good leader I feel that a good leader demonstrates that he's able to make decisions for the better of the people, and then he's able to tell the people what they need to hear. All right, you heard that first. Thank you for tuning in today on WB and R News. I hope you learned something today. Have a good day.